This is number seven from the 2013 mock math counts. Um, target um, number two, number one, and uh, this is a problem where you're you're, you're going to calculate what's called a loon. Um, this is a a loon is when you kind of have this circle that is attached to another circle. Um, one of the key pieces of information here is that these angles are the same, which tells you that they're each 120 degrees. So that's a, an important starting point for us. And then the other thing we know is that these um, three chords are all diameters of the semicircles shown. And so um, that's really good for us. Um, if you look at the picture, there's symmetry, which means that each of the three shapes, uh, one, two, and three, are actually all the same size. So all we need to do is calculate what is one of them and then multiply by three. Well, to calculate one of them, and to uh, unconfuse the picture, I'm going to erase this other stuff, we realize that this loon is just the semicircle minus this segment, as it's referred to, um, and you'll have the um, uh, area of your of number one. So we need to go through and calculate what is the area of the semicircle, what is the area of the segment. Well, to do that, we start by taking the fact that we know that AB is 12, and then since this is an isosceles triangle, because those are both radius, uh, if we draw in our altitude, we get that this is um, going to be um, uh, equal to 30, and this is going to be equal to 30. And so we have a 30, 60, 90 degree triangle. And hopefully we know that in a 30, 60, 90 degree tri triangle, the short leg is half the hypotenuse. So in this case, that means that this length right there is six, the short leg of a, one of these right triangles. And then the long leg is going to be the hypotenuse times root three, and so that length is 6 root 3, which not only does that turn out to be half of our chord right here, which is going to be important because when we find the area of this triangle, we're going to say 1 half um, times 12 root 3, the base, times the height, which is 6. But 6 root 3 also turns out to be the radius of our semicircle, right? This is the center of the semicircle. And so that is going to, 6 root 3 is going to be a radius. So when we go find the area of the semicircle, we're going to use 6 root 3. But the first thing we need to do is, is to calculate the area of the red part, the, the segment. Well, the area of the triangle just turns out to be 36 root 3, 1 half times 12 root 3 times 6. But then the area of the sector, which is this whole thing, because what we're going to do here is we're going we're gonna to find the area of this whole thing right here. And then we're going to subtract away the area of the triangle. Well, the whole thing, the radius is 12, and the angle is 120. And so you use the formula which says, however much the angle is at a 360, that's how much of the pi that we're using. So we just multiply that times the area, which is pi r squared, or 144 pi. And that gives me, well, 1 third times 144 is 48, and so I get 48 pi. So the area of the sector is 48 pi, and then you subtract away the 36 root 3, and that gives you um, the area of this. But we said that the area of the semicircle is found because this is going to be 6 root 3. And so 6 root 3 squared turns out to be 108. And so the semicircle is going to be 1 half times 6 root 3 squared pi, or 54 pi. That means for each one of these, it's going to be 54 pi minus 48 minus 36 root 3, 48 pi, which gives you 6 plus 36 root th 6 pi plus 36 root 3, and then when you multiply by 3, you end up with 18 pi plus 108 root 3, and that is the area of those three um, sections 1, 2, and 3.